recreational drugs when the NCAA comes to your campus. But at the championships, they do include recreational drugs, and if you get if you get popped for for both, you know, for either, then you you're it's a year suspension. So he chose uh, to go pro. Who was it? Uh, kid at Michigan State. McGarry. McGarry, yes. Clear as, as clear as day that rule is. I mean, coaches, every coach in America knows that rule. Oh, every player well, should. His two, his two teammates that came out earlier. It's former Jack that knows. Yes, there is. His teammate, two teammates at Glenn Rodson Jr. and that, some, that other one had come out earlier. And For I the wonder, draft. Yeah, and I wonder why he had, why yeah. he came out two weeks Because of his back injury. Or was his back? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's why he sat out, right? Yeah, he had his back injury, and he wasn't. He went into the season really highly touted, and then when his back got hurt, he was like, just yeah. dropped like a stone in water. Yeah. So, it probably cost him a little bit of money, but he'll still be okay. He'll play somewhere. Do you Get all the reading All right. Well, um, Want to, open some, want to just open it up and talk to us about Swing for the Jacks, Skip? Yeah, so we've got this event coming up. It's our uh, inaugural Swing for the Jacks. It's uh, really a two-part event that can be done uh, all together, or it can be broken into uh, one, one part on Friday, one part on Saturday, if that, if that fits the individual. But what we have is we have a golf tournament on May the 10th, Swing for the Jacks, uh, co-hosted by Humboldt State Women's Basketball, Humboldt State Volleyball. And it's a four-player scramble. It's a noon tea time. Um, we're gonna have you know the players on the course, mixing it up with the groups. Uh, we'll have food, um, you know, all, all the normal games. Uh, so a lot of fun, competitive setting. It's a new event for us, and it's out of Baywood, and I'm really looking forward to that. And then on Friday night, the night before, we have a, a dinner dance, and so we've got a, our alumni, Katie Wilder, who is now at a University of Nebraska in their rec department, running a part of their uh, their, their weight room. Um, she's coming back as an honored guest. She's going to be our, our guest speaker. And then afterwards, we're going to have the Delta Nationals, one of the local bands, um, you know, a great band for uh, East Coast Swing. So we're going to do some East Coast Swing dancing. We're going to have some instruction out there to help you, uh, you know, pick up a, a few tips and then get after it from 8 to 10 p.m. So really looking forward to that. People can sign up for the whole event and do Friday night and Saturday night, or they can do uh, each each day exclusively from the, uh, from the other. So, you know, first time we've done it, uh, really, really getting some great feedback, and our, our girls are excited about uh, participating in that event. Yeah, not only is this uh, a, a golf event, but it sounds like a, a bit of everything. If you're a, a dancer, a fan of athletics, uh, just a, a bit of everything, please. Yeah, you know, I think it's 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 kind of an end of the year event, uh, you know, almost a, a, an end of the year celebration is kind of what we have planned. Where let's let's all get together and celebrate being a, being a lumberjack. And yeah, it's a fundraiser for us, but it, you know, as much as that, it's a fundraiser. Let's 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 all celebrate being a Humboldt State Jack together. Um, and that's why we have the two different parts. That way, if you're not into the golf, you can still you know have a nice dinner, listen to an alumni speak, um, have a nice dinner dance, or you can come out and be on the course. And, and, Participate in that part, portion of the uh, the event, and compete in and do all that, and get some good mingling time with uh, our student athletes. Definitely, a lot of uh, Apple State fans out there, and it seems like in this community, uh, very supportive of the teams, the athletes. It's giving them a good chance to kind of, you know, I, I guess get to know the athletes more, you know, hang out with them. That'd be a perfect opportunity. It's one of the feedbacks that we get is just the interaction that you get, you know, with with, with face to face time with these student athletes. You get to know them a little bit, and then when you come back and watch them on the court. You, you have that experience with them, and, and this, this community is super generous about uh, helping us out with these type of events um, by participating in them or by sponsoring, you know, whole sponsors, all those kinds of different things. So we're very fortunate, um, and it's a, it's a great, uh, I, I think, uh, relationship between Humboldt State to the community and back and forth, um, and, and certainly a very giving community that we, uh, we, we work in. More information tickets, what number? Uh, yeah, you know, the best places to go online. Um, our, our, our SID department has done a great job of setting up our, our website. It's easy to get the uh, the paper download um, and fill out that form. But we prefer uh, you, you know use the online um, registration that we have. We are coming up with a uh, this coming Friday is the deadline. So May second is the deadline for the dinner because we got to get those reservations all set up. So the quicker people can sign up for the dinner portion of it. Um, but the golf tournaments will be taking uh, registration all the way up until the event next week for the uh, for the golf tournament. Uh, so HSU Jackson is the, is the best place to go um, to, to sign up. Phone number 826-3666, that's the department phone number you can sign up there as well.
Perfect. Perfect. And Swing for the Jacks, of course, is May 9th and May 10th. May 9th is the Friday night dinner. May 10th is the uh, Saturday golf tournament. Yep. Great.